Hey, what's going on, Coach Chris? Around here at Critical Bench, we like the bench press. Duh, yeah, you probably knew that. So I want to share some information with you that could really help you if you have any interest in benching your body weight for reps or doing the two and a quarter uh, combine test, the, the 225 rep test, basically what they use right in, with the NFL. Where guys go wrong testing for this, it's usually, there's two things, two ways that they fail themselves. A, they don't warm up at all. And they kind of just jump right on. I mean, let, let's take, for example, a guy who, you know, comfortably can do 315 for reps. Well, to him, two and a quarter isn't a heck of a lot of weight, right? So he might feel like, well, what do I need to warm up for? I'm just doing two and a quarter. I can rep that out. Okay, but priming your body, preparing yourself, getting yourself into the best possible position to work hard, you got to do some explain. And I'm going to go into great detail exactly what you should be doing. You know, so. So you're failing yourself if you just feel well, your, your absolute strength is so good that you don't need to mess around with a warm up for two and a quarter. Wrong, still warm up. Number two, you do way too much. You overtrain with your warm up and you exhaust yourself for, for the test you're about to do. Again, whether it's body weight or 225 for reps, okay? Something to remember too is this is a fast test. This is a test built on speed, right? So you want to move fast with this. You're going to get 75% of your reps in like the first 20 to 25 seconds, okay? And I'm going to go into, into de uh, detail about the types of reps that you need to know about. But let me go through the warm-up. First, you want just the bar, the bar only. And then a the standard Olympic bar is 45 pounds. So you're going to just have the bar, and you're going to still set up like there's plenty of weight on there and you're gonna explosively rep out five reps, just five with the bar, okay? You don't need much rest, obviously, after you do this. You only need about 30 seconds in between each of these warm-up sets, 30, 60 max. Then you're gonna put 40% of your body weight, if you're doing the body weight, uh, or, I mean, or you could do 45, 40% of two and a quarter, and you're gonna do four sets of three reps, four sets of three reps, again, with only about 30 to 60 seconds in between. So figure out what weight that should be. Uh, so if you're doing the uh, 225 test, you know, you put like a, approximately 135 on the bar. I mean, that's even a little bit heavy. It's actually closer to like 95 probably, right? So you wanna, yeah, it would be like 95. So you explosively wanna do four sets of just three reps, again, Setting up, everything's good. You got your lats locked, your elbows are tucked. You, you, all your points of contact are there. Your, your breathing's in check. Uh, everything's locked and loaded, ready to go. Now, the last little set you do for your warm up is 70 to 80% of your body weight uh, or of your 225. And, oh, well, actually, it would be of your one rep max, but. Uh, and you are doing that explosively as well for three reps, but it's just one set, and then you are ready to go. That's a good warm up. Again, it's not a high amount of reps, right? But it's multiple sets with limited rest, and you're doing it explosively. That's the key, right? It's all about speed. Yes, control, but speed, because speed is what gets you through uh, a, a test like this. Again, 75% of the reps you're gonna get are gonna come in that first like 20, 25 seconds. So that brings me to point number two, which you'll see in the next video.